bacteria isn't like considered alive, but it's would not be bacteria. Alive if it was cut off of you? <laughs> It wouldn't. It wouldn't an alarm. An arm it's not that was dead. cut off of you also be alive own. by that same criteria. It moves on its own. Sperm moves on its own. Egg. So eggs contain well, living organisms. Arms can move organisms. on their own when they're cut off of you. Yes, they absolutely can. I'm not talking can. about arms. What's that? I'm not talking about arms. We're talking yeah, about no, abortion. No, you're not talking about arms. I'm. I'm testing your logic. I'm trying to explain to you this concept, right? That all these things that you keep on claiming make this life. I'm claiming are. Uh, present in something you claim is not alive. That's not a uh, well, so, so I, my thing is viability. I think you I think you should be it should be legal as long as uh, as long as the baby is uh, needs to be in the stomach to survive because I believe that's an attachment of you because anything that you do to your body, any if you drink coffee, if you smoke, that is going to affect your the, the thing that's growing inside of you. And you cannot have your own, you, if you're pregnant, you have to really like watch, like you could have an abortion from an herbal tea. Like there are herbs that will induce an abortion. And so to say that that's murder to me is not correct. And then I also have a point about IVF and uh, I don't think that the second... Yeah, can we, uh, if you, if you yeah. don't mind, can we stick yeah. to one point at a time? Yeah. Um, so can I ask a couple clarifying questions, if you don't mind? I don't mind. So, the, Okay, great. So the, uh, the first question I have is, uh, you said as long as the baby's in the stomach, uh, then it's not murder, is that correct? Viable. So as long as it cannot be delivered and stay alive. Okay, I got you. Yeah. And so your your ultimate dispute is um, life. You say that life begins, um, you know, outside of conception. What about human life? When does that begin? So human life, I think, I think when you're born, you are con you are considered legally a human being. I, you're, it's a human. It's a human embryo. I think that's or a human. You could say. Oh, well, that I mean that can't be true, right? Because otherwise, you wouldn't say that the woman has to keep the baby in her stomach no, for as long as it's viable. I, I don't care because about you're, the you're making the affirm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. My turn. You're making the affirmative claim that this is a human life. It must be if it's viable, right? Oh well, sorry. There's a car. What? Okay, so, so, um, what does viable mean? That's a human, right? Viable means it's able to survive outside of the womb, so it can. Be and it's delivered. a human. Is that a human being? It's the yeah. It's the human species. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a human being. So when does it become a human being? When it's born, I think that. Yeah, it's murder, it doesn't make any sense. Do you under? You, hang on. You understand that makes no sense. If you say that it's viable in the womb and it's a human being, it can't also only be a human being when it's born. No, it's 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 of the human species. I'm saying you have the right to, you have bodily autonomy and, and you, you don't have, have to, bodily you autonomy. have to, okay, just give me a sec. You have to specifically not kill it. You have to specifically not kill it because if you are just going about your daily life, you could be pregnant and you don't know it, and you you drink alcohol, and then you're responsible. If that's murder, if you're responsible for your DNA that that <coughs> you had sex and you're you're pregnant, you have a sperm, you have an egg that's fertilized. You have okay, to specifically not kill it. Hang on, hang on. You got to reel it in because you're all over the place. You see, you're super all over the place. So let's start Maybe with you this, don't understand. okay? The idea that um, okay, you could be pregnant and not even know, but nobody would call that murder. Right? Murder is the unjustified taking of a life. In that particular case, if you have no knowledge that your action is going to take a life, nobody would ever call that murder. It would be would manslaughter. Ever, nobody would murder. ever call that murder. If, like if, if it's for a instance, life, if, if it's I, a life, know, let me yeah. finish point, please. So, for instance, if I was on top of a, a building and I was working, I was a construction worker, and I had my hammer next to me and I kicked the hammer off the roof, uh, and then it fell down, hit somebody in the head, and it killed them. I obviously didn't know they were underneath the hammer when I kicked the hammer off the roof. So since that is true, I would not get charged with murder because that would not be murder, right? That would not be considered murder. It would be considered that that's a that's a person that died and and I don't think that if you if you don't uh take care of yourself and and you you ha your 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 
uh, baby dies in your stomach from not taking care of yourself, I think you have to extend that logic if you're going to say that it's a life and that abortion is murder. I think you have to extend that. Yeah, to but I, I, maybe you do, but I still don't actually understand your position because you said you said that it's only a human life when it's born. I did not but say that. You, I said it's okay, okay. So when is it a human life? It's always a hu. It's a it's a human. So I don't val. I don't. It's in, if it's infringing, it's always a human life. It's of the human it's species. It's okay. Got it. It's always DNA. a human life. So then, my my. So then, if that's true, then when I say life begins at conception, I'm correct, right? No, I wouldn't agree. It's it's life what? before that. It's life before that. The things that create no, the fertilized egg are human. It's not human life before that. It's not human, it's human life DNA. before that. It is. It's how, the two how parts. How is it human life before that? So the two parts converge. The sperm and the egg yeah, that's that makes contain it a human, the DNA yeah. of a human. Yeah, that that's what makes it a human. So so the human life begins at conception. The value part is the human part, right? I don't value the not human part. Just like I don't value, for instance, fish. I don't care about fish, right? If you go out with an Uzi to a pond and you just waste a million fish with your, I don't give a shit, right? I have no value for it whatsoever, but it's still a fish, right? It's still a fish's life. So when we're talking about human life, human life begins at conception. Do you disagree or agree with that? I disagree. Okay, so what makes it a human life? Well, it's, it's a human life because it contains human DNA. It's made of human DNA. So it's, so sperm and, and eggs, which is what a baby is made of, which everyone's made of human DNA, that's human, that's, that's the materials, the sexual materials to uh, create life. And you, if you I, when what? they converge. If, I, if, I, if somebody took a machete and cut off your arm, your arm would definitely have human DNA. Would it be alive? Yeah, you can not, no. No, it wouldn't. So it just having human DNA has nothing to do with it being alive. Sperm and eggs are alive. That's a fact. Uh, alive in what sense? They are living just like cell, like just like bacteria. I mean, bacteria isn't like considered alive, but it's not bacteria. An arm would be bacteria. alive if it was cut off of you? <laughs> it wouldn't, it wouldn't an, alarm, an arm it's not that was dead. cut off of you also be alive by that same criteria? It moves on its own. Sperm moves on its own. Egg, so eggs contain living Arms can move organisms. on their own when they're cut off of you. Yes, they absolutely can. I'm not talking can. about arms. <laughs> What's that? I'm not talking about arms. We're talking yeah, about no, no, you're not talking about arms. I'm, I'm testing your logic. I'm trying to explain to you this concept, right? That all these things that you keep on claiming make this life, I'm claiming are uh, present in something you claim is not alive. That's not a uh, well. So, I'm, uh, so, so, the I'm difference, trying to, so I'm trying to figure so, out how it's actually yeah, alive. Yeah. So I'll tell you the difference. The difference, okay. the difference is... Actually, an arm, you could say, is just as much of a person as a fertilized egg because it's human. It's not yet. It's the an, DNA. It has complete it's not human yet, DNA. Exact, well, yes. And so does an arm. I mean, if, if, that's, if, that's, what, if that's your comparison. Um, so you could, it's actually a good comparison that, that, that you made in a sense. I'm, I'm, I, I don't actually even understand your position. I'm like, I'm trying to. Um, so what makes, what makes a person alive? What makes a person alive? Let's start with that. What makes life? What, what is that? Um, what, so when you're alive, uh, heartbeat is one thing. And, but I would say for person, you can be alive with no you heart. Can be al alive. It's, things can be alive, but they can be non, non-human or non, or I can draw a distinction where personhood begins. Well, I mean, scientifically it's anything okay, that's so wait, carbon so derivative, right? Biological matter. Yeah. I'm trying, hang on just one well, step at a time. Let me, let me try to own. at least understand what the position is because I'm still super confused as to what, what your position even is. So, as we kind of back up here, let's start with what does alive mean? What does that mean? So alive means moving on its own and basically moving on its own and uh, being chemically made, having a genetic, yeah, and having a genetic code that, that you're made of. Okay, so... Um, so being alive, the criteria is going to be moving on your own and having some kind of genetic material. 
that you're made of? I would go by the scientific definition, which I don't have memorized, but you could pull it up if you, I would agree with the scientific definition <laughs> if you want to pull it up. I, but not, except for the part that disagrees with, with what I believe, which is. So the part, so you wouldn't accept the part that disagrees with what you that's, believe. That's you would just accept the part that agrees abortion? with what you believe. The, the part that's specific to abortion, I don't uh -huh. agree with. Yeah, doesn't the scientific definition define human life That's as beginning and conception? You asked, you asked living, so I would say the, def the scientific definition of life, I, I agree with, so. Yeah, what, well, I don't know what that is. Do you, do you want me to pull well, that I just, up? I just, gave, I just gave some examples of, of what I believe life is in essence, and if you want a full thing, you can look up what the scientific definition is, and <laughs> that's what I'll accept. That's what I'll use. So have, okay, you, so have you guys heard the, the research? Okay, philosophical so, okay question, so hang maybe. on. So what if the scientific definition says that human life begins at conception? I would even say it begins before that is hang the latest on, research. Hang on, can I can let her answer, Desiree? When, so so what, what if, if science says human life begins at conception? I, I don't agree with that part. I'm saying life in general, there's a scientific definition, which includes things like moving on your own, Respiration, uh, you know, when you when you go down to like the very small microscopic levels, these you have things that are moving on their own, eating things. They have genetic code. So those are some of the okay. things. But it is a philosophical question. I, if you want me to define life. Well, the only reason I'm asking you to kind of give me some sense of it, so I know what you're even talking about. Yeah, I just gave you. So a what, sense. What, what, we're, what we're quibbling over. Uh, here is human life, right? That's what we're actually talking about is when does human life begin? You, I mean, you agree with me that a human being requires DNA from mother and dad in order to become a human, right? Yes. Yeah, so if that's the case, then it would require the sperm and the egg to be fused before it's Can I add life. something? Hang on. No, you can't. Can you just, can you just let us finish? So it, if that's the case right, then it would require an, an egg and a sperm for it to be human, human life by your own criteria. What, a, a, a fertilized embryo is a egg and a sperm combined, and they are both living separate of that. Or, or you could say <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, you could say we that eggs about human aren't life. I just said, don't you think that the criteria for human life would require the DNA of, of both a mother and a father? You said yes. So if that's the case, then it would require the sperm and the egg together in order to create human life, correct? Yeah, to have a person, yes. Yeah, so then so then life begins at conception. Human life begins at conception, right? I don't believe that it's fully uh, baked because I consider a human life to be something that is autonomous well, I don't and understand. conscious. What, what what criteria is it missing? We're, we're about, if we continue, uh, we're probably going to lose our entire panel. What's the criteria? We're going to lose our entire panel. We are going to oh, lose okay. our panel. Okay. Was it you who wanted to talk about abortion in the first hour of this conversation? I did not choose that. I, I, I had to step up. I don't know how that came up. I don't control the conversation. But I have no idea how it 